Hey, welcome to the show. Here we have Eureka Math Grade 3 Module 1 Lesson 2. All right, let's get right into it. The Lesson 2 Application Problem. Here is our story problem. We need to read this. It says, Jordan uses three lemons to make one pitcher of lemonade. He makes four pitchers. How many lemons does he use altogether? First of all, why is Jordan making so much lemonade? All right, he's just, he's, he's going to have a sugar high unless he has a lemonade stand. All right, let's get back to the story here. Um, three lemons to make one pitcher of lemonade. So here is a pitcher. We need to draw this out. So I'm going to draw a pitcher. This is a picture of a pitcher. And then three lemons are in each of those. And then how many pitchers does he have? Four. So I need to do four of these. I think it's really important when you are doing story problems to draw this out and make it exciting. I did not like story problems when I was younger, and I did not know you can have a lot of fun with them. And so when I started just having fun with the pictures, it made it more relevant to me. And then I started understanding the story problems. Also, take story problems little by little, step by step. Okay. Whatever you got to do, just draw this out. He makes four pictures. Pictures. <laughs> How many lemons does he use all together? So we have three here, three there, three there, three there. If you want to add those numbers up, you can. If you know how to do multiplication, you could do three or four times three or three times four, it doesn't matter, comes up with the same answer of 12. So how many lemons does he use together? Uh, we'll go right here. Jordan. Jordan uses 12 lemons. All right. I hope Jordan invites me over to have some lemonade with him. I don't know if you can see that bottom sentence right there. Jordan, whoop, you... Oh my goodness. Sorry about that. My grammar's off today. Jordan uses 12 lemons. And I know the handwriting teacher out there, I bet she's probably like, hey, you need to work on your handwriting a little bit. All right. Yes, I do have chicken scratch. Okay. Um, use the arrays below to answer each set of questions. An array? What's an array? I like that in this book. They just, they don't really, I would like to have a little more explanation in this workbook. Anyway, I guess that's my job. An array, this is what it looks like. There's an array, here's an array, here's an array, there's an array. It's basically a visual representation of what multiplication looks like. Later on in the book, they are going to, let me see if I can show you here. They're not going to do the pretty animals there. They're going to give you like these dots or something like that. You'd have to do circles or X's. So I like it when they do the cars and the fruit. Okay, let's keep on moving on. Use the array below to each to answer each set of questions. How many rows of cars are there? This is a row. One, two, three, four. I know some people are like, well, this could be a row and that could be a row. No, they're going this way in this book. So this is a row, 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 row. How many rows are there? There are four. <laughs> How many cars are there in each row? Count them out. One, two. That's it. In each row, there are two cars. That was easy cheesy. Let's move on. What is the number of rows? Again, all right. Ah, they're changing the terminology terminology right here they said how many rows now it says what is the number of rows okay so we count we have one row two rows three rows three rows what is the number of objects in each row so again they changed it here they said cars now they're saying objects so here we have one two three four five six all right can we move on Okay, here we have, there are four spoons in each row. It's almost like that question up there. How many spoons are in two rows? Oh my goodness, you're getting tricky. There are four spoons in each row, correct. How many spoons are in two rows? Hmm, 
So we have one row, two rows. How many are all together in these two rows? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight spoons. Write a multiplication expression to describe the array. So how many rows are there? There are two rows. How many in each row? There is four. So two times four equals eight. Again, with my chicken scratch here. All right. So please <laughs> write neater than me. It's important to write neat uh, in mathematics so you don't get goofed. You know, people understand what your numbers are. Especially, I have students, they'll write a, a, a zero like this. It's like, oh my goodness, is that a six or is that a zero? All right. So write neat. There are five rows of triangles. Well, I'm going to check it out. I always want to check these out. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. How many triangles are in each row? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. One, two, three, four. Four. Write a multiplication expression to describe the total number of triangles. So again, how many rows are there? There are five rows. How many in each row? Four. Five times four equals 20. Okay. Uh, is there another page here? Listen to, yeah, I guess we have two more pages. Okay. Are you sure we have two more pages? Yeah, I guess we got two more pages. The dots below show two groups of five. Okay, here's a group and there's a group. Redraw the drop, redraw the drops. Redraw the dots as an array that show two rows of five. Okay, so here is a row and there is a row. I like to draw little lines just to represent my rows. And in each row is going to be five. So I have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Compare the drawing to your array. Write at least one reason why they are the same and one reason why they are different. Well, um, these are kind of like a little bit scattered and this is a little bit more organized. Okay. So I'll let you go ahead and write that. But it, um, it looks a little bit, I can, you know, if I look right here, it's like, yeah, I can see that they're even in this one. My eyes might get a little dizzy or jumbled. So I think this is more organized. This is what they want you to try to get to do. Because I remember in, you know, second grade, you know, if we had to do groups, our groups might look like this. And now we want it to be more organized. So, okay, let's go on to six. Emma collects rocks. I guess that's a good collection. Now, um, I hope they're small rocks and not big rocks like boulders. She arranges them in four rows of three. All right, so I, I'm just going to draw that out. That's important right here. So I got four rows. One, two, three, four. You'll notice I didn't really start reading more into this. I just want to take a look at what four rows of three are. So I have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. Draw Emma's array to show how many rocks she has all together. Did that. Check. Then write a multiplication equation to describe the array. How many rows are there? Four. How many in each row? Three. Four times three? Twelve. Okay. Hey, we only have, I think, maybe three more problems. Stick with it, you guys. Come on, we can do it. Joshua. Joshua? Josh? <coughs> Excuse me. Joshua organizes cans of food into an array. He thinks my cans show five times three. Draw Joshua's array to find the total number of cans he organizes. So, how many rows are there? Five. One, two, three, four, five. How many in each row? Three. One, two, 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 three. Is that it? I guess. I guess you could have made cans instead of circles. Yeah, that would have looked better. Okay. Go that way. <laughs> All right, we only have 
two problems, one, two, and this looks, I bet that's challenging. So let's, we're almost done there, come on. Um, there are four rows of stars, got it, one, two, three, four. How many stars are in each row? Oh, thank goodness, this is an easy one. One, two, three, three. You would think they'd give us a little more challenging one toward the end, but I'm kind of glad that that was kind of an easy cheesy lemon squeezy problem. And uh, question, write the multiplication equation to describe the array. We can do it, yeah. How many rows are there? One, two, three, four. How many in each row? Three. See, wasn't that bad. We're almost done. Judy collects seashells. I always get goofed up on that. As I know that she sells seashells by the seashore. So, okay, maybe your teacher can do that uh, tongue twister for you later on. Um, Joshua, hey, he collect, he's organizing cans. And Emma, she collects rocks. Judy collects seashells. She, I don't know, there's too many S. She arranges them in three rows of six. Draw Judy's array to show how many seashells she has all together. All right, so we have three rows, one, two, three, and rows of six. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, four, five, six. Is that it? Then write a multiplication equation to describe the array. Array. Array, array, yay. Okay, um, how many rows do we have? We have three rows. How many are in each row? Right there, six. Three times six is 18. If you did not know that it was 18, you just simply go over here and count this out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yay! Hey, thanks a lot for watching the show today. I really appreciate it. Hope everything is going good. Make sure you check over your work. You never know if I made a little boo-boo along the way or if I said something, uh, maybe I messed up on a I said multiplication or, or when I meant to say addition. Who knows? But uh, always check your work. And I'd sure appreciate it if you hit check my videos on this channel. Um, I need subscribers. So hit the subscribe button. Tell your teacher, hey, he's a pretty cool guy. Ch subscribe to him. Hit the likey button. All right. So hope you're all having a great day. Talk to you later. And don't forget about that seashell by the seashore uh, tongue twister. All right. Bye-bye. Adios.